I can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, I have to take this off. It's snowing outside and my my now. Snow it's, and it's ice. What? It's snow and ice outside right now. You must you must feel good getting your internet back, huh? Yeah, they just turn it on right now. I have to. Be. Yeah. Hold on, hold on a minute. Let me uh, you you can talk, but let me just accept this and see what this woman wants. You know. Yeah, this 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 lady, uh, this lady who is the lead or whatever, you know, she has so many things that she comes up with. You know, uh, so, sorry to say, but that's why like some people like to work with men <laughs> because men don't behave this way. You know, it's like some woman drive you crazy. You know, this woman, uh, this woman. She's like dri driving people crazy with all these different things and and so forth. You know, I think I think you would agree to that because you said that you don't like working with some woman. They they do crazy stuff to you. <laughs> yeah, they say <laughs> yeah, they, they do crazy stuff. And and there, this woman, um, mm -hmm. she said she had to take her dog to the vet. I think she got like two dogs. So chances are she probably lives alone. You know. She's uh, middle age. She probably hadn't had sex in a long time. She lives in the Midwest where a lot of people are fat, you know? So it's like, wow, what the hell? You know, nothing going on in her life. So she wants to make everybody else miserable. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me just put, okay. Yeah. You know, you know what, what it is, what I'm saying is because like what happened, she 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 said she was trying to get me on the Skype, you know, they have a business Skype and, she, and I was unavailable because it's it says um available. But I went to lunch, right? Stream one PM, which I usually go. And she's she's trying to get me and the thing is, okay, she knows I go to lunch between 1 and one thirty, right? I go to lunch, right? But yet she's trying to get me around 1, 1 16 p.m. Why are you going to do that? I said, well, you know I go to lunch. She said, yeah, but your Skype shows you available. I said, well, I don't adjust it, <laughs> you know? Not because it's a state that I'm available, right, the Skype. I, I really don't fool around with my Skype, you know, the business Skype. Um, and she has said, don't, I said, well, you said don't adjust. She said, yeah, I said, do not put, do not disturb a distinction, right? So uh, she said, do not put, do not disturb. However, like if you go into lunch, you could put like, be right back, put lunch or so forth. You know, I mean, how, how many men in a meeting will drive people crazy telling them stuff like that? It's only only a woman who will do that, you know, <laughs> would, would talk such such stuff like that. I wouldn't do it if I were running shop with people. I could care less, you know, if I get you and like she wants, if she tries to get you, she wants to get you now. So what she did, uh, she called uh, the company that I work for. And then he called me and I was, you know, I was in the conference and you could hear their, their voice and say, oh, I hear you, you're in the conference right now. I said, yeah, I'm in the conference. It's on right now. He told me, yeah, she was trying to get you. I said, yeah, well, <laughs> she was trying to get me during my lunch hour. You know, she knows I go to lunch during this time. I just think it's, I just think it's crazy. You know, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, some women, when they reach a certain age, they try to drive people crazy, man and woman. They try to drive crazy, you see? And I think, I think it's fair to say the same with you because 
the kind of problems you have, like you claim you, you know, you didn't get your bill from from Spectrum, when in fact your bill was right there, <laughs> and you and you claiming that you didn't get it, it didn't come in the mail, and I'm saying, well, maybe because you know the holidays, uh, lots of mail, and your mail is right there. Then when you go looking, you find you find the bill, and you and you blaming them, saying they didn't send you, they didn't send the bill to you, you know? Yeah, they didn't send the bill to you. Yeah, I guess it must be tough being a woman. They have all sorts of things going on in their mind, you know, that they forget certain things. Your bill is your bill is right there, and you don't even know it's right there. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. And then, and then uh, you you argue with the the woman. You told her, "Well, I'm going to get a lawyer," and she told you, "Go ahead." And then when I tell you, send, make a copy and send me. Let me read and see where the problem is. I found it right away. You, you were underpaying them. You were sending them. <laughs> $19.99 a month you were paying. And uh, the total every month is $22.99. <laughs> you were underpaying them by $4 a month. And then you have the nerve to tell, <laughs> to tell them you're going to get a lawyer. You know? Where the hell are you going to get money to get a lawyer? Definitely something is wrong with you, lady. Yeah, you need to get your act together, or you need to, you need to stop uh, searching on the internet for men. You know, like Tinder and all those sites, Facebook, with all the dating sites and so forth. I think that's your problem. Yeah. yeah. Your your problem is uh, searching for men. You can find. And so far, none of them, <laughs> none of them are doing you any good. And, and then you have the nerve to tell me, if you come down to New York, you want me to take you shopping, and you want me. I'm not doing that. I'm not that kind of man. I, I don't believe in taking any woman shopping. I believe women should be independent. Go shop the damn selves. You know. My sister and her husband go to Australia. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you out to eat because I've done that before. I've gone to a restaurant. I don't mind going out to a restaurant. I like to go out and eat the restaurant, but I'm not. I'm not gonna spend money taking you shopping for what? <laughs> Why would I do that? You know. That's what that guy in Baltimore did, and um, and and apparently he spoiled you. Because um, he took you out, you know, spent all this money in you. But see, guys who do that usually do that for a reason, you know. They give you all this stuff to make you feel good. So that means when they finally leave you, which they will leave you, then they can say, oh, well, I gave her this and I gave her that, you know. See, that's, that's not it. I'm not, I'm not here to give you anything because you're always asking for information from me and I help you over the years. So why should I take you out shopping? You, ca you come to New York. New York is an expensive city. You stay for free in New York. If you had to pay for a hotel in New York, it's probably over, over $150, $200, $250 a night for a hotel. You, can, you, you, you can't afford that. <laughs> You can spend a week by me, that's like a thousand dollars right there you save. So, you know, what else you want? So, let's see here. She sent another email. And um, she said, don't, don't accept it and don't decline it. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll go on the, on the calendar. 
and fear the problem. So this stat said, this is stat. It starts at 11 a.m. Tuesday. Yeah, we can. Please, please. I was Please. please. What is that? I have to clean my back door. Do some cleaning. So, so why are you, why are you coming to Skype with the, with the can if you got to clean your bathroom? You know, if you come to speak, you come and speak, you sit down and speak. You don't be going cleaning while you're here. You know, you come to speak, you come to speak. I have to go tomorrow. Working tomorrow. That's my work. So, so why, why, why are you quick to tell somebody, you know, the, the person you spoke to, um, that the bill is wrong, and that you're gonna call, you're gonna contact a lawyer, and the lady told you, "Go ahead," you know. She said, "I don't care. You go ahead." First of all, you don't have any money for a lawyer, so wh who are you bluffing to say you're gonna contact a lawyer? Oh, okay, go get the lawyer. Have you don't money. have money for a lawyer. You know, you know, there used to be a commercial here. Um, I think the man died but Sims, Cy Sims, and his motto was, an educated consumer is our best customer. <laughs> and, and I agree with him, you know? If you're an educated consumer, you're gonna have less problems because you're gonna look at things first before you, you delve into it. Whereas if, you, if you're not an educated consumer, you may run into problems. You don't read your contract. Uh, your bill went from $19.99 to $22.99. You didn't even know. And you still kept, kept paying $19.99. And you have no idea. Okay? And you're kicking up a fuss how they, they raised it. They want you to pay this. And uh, you're not going to pay. Then you're going to open. You, you're gonna you're gonna go with a different internet company, and I told you don't do that because they're gonna they're gonna put your name in the credit report, and they're gonna say you didn't pay your bill, and then they're gonna have a collection agency go after you. That's how they are. <laughs> Believe me, I know. They're gonna have a, and I say it's not worth it to have a collection agency going after you for forty five dollars and ninety eight cents or what have you. And at the time, I had no idea what, what the conflict was. But you, you said you were not going to pay it. And I said, look, even if you try to open uh, another internet account with another company, you're going to block yourself. You'll never be able to, to get uh, you know, internet with them again unless you pay. And you're going to destroy your credit. So what's the what's the point? It's not like it's four four hundred and ninety something dollars. It's only forty nine dollars. That's not a lot of money. So the best thing my advice was pay pay the money and and let me see. And eventually you send me copies of the um the bill, you know, to Skype. And I looked at it and I saw your mistake because they showed the previous bill from November and from December. You know that you were owing money. Yeah, I find it is December view over here. I put it somewhere. Let me show you. You were paying them nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, and you're supposed to pay them twenty two dollars and ninety nine cents a month. Yeah, and, and, month and you have the you have you have the the nerve, the gall to be <laughs> arguing with them. Yes, I did. I let down the I don't get a shit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're really a fucked up person in your head. Yeah, you know? That's what you are. You have the nerve to be arguing with them and telling them you're going to get a lawyer when you're paying them less money. You know? I do not pay CW. Yeah. Well, okay. that's what I said. 
Huh? Look at November 23rd, December 23rd. It shows. Um, yeah, December, you see it? I did not pay. Yeah. See, I have it. <laughs> I'm fine there. I said, like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you and you know what? You, you're lucky you know me because most, most, most people in America don't have the patience to deal with people like you. They're just say, <laughs> they say, go jump in the lake. Huh? They say, go jump in the lake. If there's a lake in Maine, go jump in it. They, they're not going to deal with you. Jump. Most, most Americans won't deal with you. They won't have the patience because they have other things to do in their lives. You know? They're not going to have time for you. But you, you are going to be lucky. I know you for, for a long time, 2004. Since I know you, because people people have asked me, you know, why do you even deal with this woman? You know, I mean, really. Sometimes I ask myself that, and sometimes sometimes I don't even bother to call you. You know, it's like maybe I can just get rid of this woman totally, and then out of the blue, you call me. You know, it's like oh. <laughs> It's like you, you just don't want me to just disappear completely, which would be fine with me. You know, disappear completely. And that would be the end of you. That's why I was hoping you um you meet that man from Brazil. So all these problems you have, all these nonsense you get into, somebody else can solve your problems. And I could do something else, more constructive. So let's see here. Well, I'm gonna. You I just, I gonna do something right now. I watch a movie and lie down and sleep before man. I'm tired. I have to work tomorrow also. Yeah. And I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Okay. Thank you for today. Okay. Who said that? Oh, uh, yeah, honey.